Hello everybody, today is the 7th of July, 2010, and uh, this Saturday I'm going to the Berkeley competition, and that is going to be sweet, and uh, since at Berkeley they always have 4x4 and not 5x5, I have been practicing 4x4, I think a week ago, maybe, maybe more like 4 or 5 days ago, I learned the Yao method for 4x4, which Dan Cohen has in a video linked down there. And, uh, it's really neat, and I really like it, and it makes it a lot more fun to solve the 4x4. And so that method, along with, uh, the new Maru 4x4 that came out recently, um, I'm really liking 4x4 now. Um, it used to be my least favorite event, and, you know, I was terrible at it, 130, whatever. Um, but now with this method, uh, considering I only learned it five days ago, um, I am down to 125 average. Um, which means that I'm faster than I was with pure reduction. Um, so I think it's been a success, considering five days isn't really a lot to get used to a method, I guess. Um, some people think it's slow, but whatever. And so, uh, I'm really happy about that, and so, uh, I think I'll get to finish my average of five now. Uh, because at 4x4, four four, one of your first two solves has to be below a minute and 30 seconds, or else you can't finish your average. And so, if I'm averaging 125 now at home, then uh, I should be able to get at least one sub-130 self uh, in my first two, which means I can finish the uh, whole average of five, which would be sweet. So, um, that'll be awesome. And uh, the Yao method made me start to wonder if I could apply that to a 6x6. Six six. Um, I think you could, um, but from what I've thought about it so far, it'd probably just be worthless and stupid and not worth it. I'm going to try it, but I don't think it's going to get me anywhere. Uh, so, with all of that being said about Berkeley and stuff, um, there was one thing else. Um, when you lose interest in a puzzle, whatever puzzle it is, three, four, five, six, two, mega minx, I don't know, uh, if you ever lose interest in a puzzle, do you find that learning new algorithms for it, or a new way of solving it, or something like that makes it more interesting again and you get back into it? Like this, pure reduction was boring and I was bad at it, so I just kind of didn't bother with it very much. Um, but Yao Method has really got my interest back in 4x4. And so I'm curious with you guys, has uh, learning a new method or algorithms or something got you interested in the cube again? And also, does a new cube get you back into cubing again? Like this is the Maru, uh, 4x4, rather than the LAN LAN, which I used to use. I like this quite a bit better, but of course that's personal preference. And so, um, do, does a new cube get you back into it, uh, into that certain event? Like, uh, you lose interest in 3x3, you buy an F2, you realize you love it, and then you're back into 3x3 again. I uh, just want to know your thoughts on that, if that ever happens to you. Um, I find it happens to me quite a bit, and so I've been kind of jumping around with puzzles here and there. Um, I really need to get back to 6x6, six six, though, because I haven't improved on that in quite a while. Anywho, uh, that's my video for today. Uh, so I want to know, I guess I could ask you four different questions, three different questions. Um, does learning a new method or new algorithms get you interested in an event again? Does getting a new cube get you interested in that event again? And, um, do you like the Maru 4x4? And, uh, I think I should expect the answer on the last one. Um, but, you know, some people might not like it. So, we'll see. Um, so thanks for watching. I will see you guys this Sunday with the announcement for the next uh, contest we will, which we will be hosting. And once again, congratulations to the Real Seds and CubeGood76. So I will see you guys next Wednesday. Oh, and one final thing uh, before I go. Uh, I offered to Thras to uh, pay for his hotel room if he would come to Nationals, and uh, he can pay for the rest of it. And so that is sweet. He is coming to Nationals. Yay, party. And so uh, he'll be there. Yay.